previously on Hell's Kitchen. When you're on elimination twice, your confidence goes. The blue team tried to build up their most insecure chef. Don't ever see another confident. Scream at us! Then, in a challenge that tested the team's consistency, Jason and Scott's strong performance pushed the men out to an early lead. Good job. Go, six to the blue team. A blowout. But the trio of DeMarco, Gabriel, and Mike were unable to deliver one acceptable dish. Pass it way too thick. Come on, guys. Nothing's coming out. Allowing the women, led by Go. Melanie and Jessica, Delicious. an opportunity Go. to catch up. You guys again? Yeah, yeah. And win their second consecutive challenge. Delicious. Yeah! While the ladies were rewarded with a day of luxury. Incredible! The men tried to sort things out during the penny rolling punishment. Hey, DeMarco, Mike, what do you guys think you guys are missing there? Dude, you could suck my car. But Mike wasn't exactly cooperating. Seriously, everybody could go fuck themselves. At dinner service. Oh my gosh. While the blue team struggled. Come here! Fridge cold! Fridge fucking cold! The ladies <laughs> delivered their best service yet. The girls are like the Russian military. Yes, yes chef. chef! Thanks to Melanie! Yes, Chef! Cooked perfectly! Thank you, Chef! And Joy's leadership. Let that get hot, let that come up. I need to prove to him that I can be a good leader. Joy! Yes, Chef! Delicious! The ladies were then sent to help the blue team finish their service. We're good over here, go over there. Much to the dismay of the men. Chicken is raw! I know it's not a fire yet, you dumb little The blue team lost again and nominated Mike and DeMarco. In the end, it was Mike. Who saw his dream of becoming a head chef and winning a quarter of a million dollars come to an end. Now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Blue team, get out of here. It's like a weird relief just to have my gun. Chef Ramsey, you have made the wisest decision ever. Poison's gone, man. I know. Thank you so much for eliminating this scourge on the blue team. The cancer's gone, so let's call together. Yeah. Rock this bullshit. It's time to celebrate now, man. He tried to sink everybody he was with. Yeah, he did. Yep. All this bullshit needs to go behind us. Now we have to become a one. No more fucking excuses, huh? I know all of us on our team are great chefs. So with Mike being gone now, I think this is nothing but redemption for us. I think the girls should definitely be scared now. Right? They should be scared, because underdogs is coming, man. Fuck the Sweet. Tomorrow's challenge is gonna be even sweeter. Let's pull another one. Let's do it two days in a row. I'm feeling good. My girls are on the roll. We don't want to lose. We want to keep on rolling till we get all those men out and just us ladies. It's all right. Whatever comes up, we're we it. If we do it again, we're gonna get in their fucking heads. We already in their fucking heads. <laughs> With no lack of confidence, the teams head downstairs to face their next challenge. Hurry up, line up. Oh. I see all these domes, I'm like, oh my goodness, we're gonna have to make these mini dishes. Oh, man. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning chef. As chefs, we are constantly required to use our minds 24 seven. And you know, to be a great chef is all about memory, creativity, and thinking on your feet. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Oh, God. I think this is going to be a memory game, and I suck at memory games. Right. Here's how the challenge is going to work. Andy James, please. 
We'll all be working in pairs, and each pair will be working with a protein. Chicken breast, ahi tuna, swordfish, and pork chop. Mm, honey, let me get that pork chop. Behind me, under these domes, are 24 different ingredients. However, each ingredient is out there twice. So each pair will go into the dining room and lift two domes. Whether a pair finds a match or not, the next pair of chefs will go. If your ingredients match, you must use that ingredient in any one of your four dishes. So you have five minutes to try to make your matches as fast as possible. Yes, yes chef. Five minutes is not a lot of time. And on top of that, we got to try to get a match in order for us to use that food. So you're just making this really hard for us. OK, ladies, you're going first. Blue team, head out to the patio and wait until you're called. Let's go. OK, ladies, are you ready? Yes, yes chef. On your mark, get set, go. In the first part of today's challenge, move faster, move faster. working in pairs, the teams have just five minutes to match as many ingredients as they can. I got egg noodles. Once they find a match, I got turnip. Hurry up. They get to use it with their protein. I got uh, potatoes. I got shiitake mushrooms, 34. Each pair has one chance to make a match. Let's go, ladies, come on. Then their turn is over, and the next pair must go. Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, wow, 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 that's fast. Your luck, that Keisha and I got Brussels sprouts first. Yes, great start. Next, come go, on. Go, go, go. Let's go, ladies. Two. Got carrots. Red rose potatoes. No, come on, quick. I got carrots. Remember where the carrots are? They're in the front. They're in the front. Three, three, four. Three. I think. Well. Pick something. Last mighty right. No. Third one. I'm going straight for third one. Third one. Carrots. 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 Uh, gosh, taki mushrooms. We need the other carrot on this side. I think it's two and third of one. You lift I got up two. two. You lift up two. I got okay. third of one. Okay. Carrots. Carrots. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, thank God. After using almost half of their time in search of a match for the carrots. 33 with the polenta. Polenta, polenta, polenta. Uh, I got it. Yes. Yeah. The women are finally racking up more pairs. 26. Rice. Yes. But they will need a lot more ingredients to go with their four proteins. Come on, ladies. Shit. I play this game all the time. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. But when you're doing it in that setting, it's like, ah! Oh, I pulled up 11. That's, pick up the lid. That one. There you go. Beth, man, she was just like old, I guess. But I mean, that's her. We're good, ladies. We're good. 30 seconds to go. You've got to pay them up. Come, Come on. on. Pay them up. With their time remaining, the chefs are now deciding which of the ingredients go best with which of their four proteins. Pay them up, pay them up, pay them up. We're all screaming at each other. It was utter chaos. One can't have rice and noodles. Don't pay them up. Brown rice, you have to use it. Mix it with the basmati. Yeah. Just do double it. And stop. Trays up to the past, please. I was a little nervous about that brown rice because we had the basmati rice, so we just had to figure out something to do with them. Let's go, men. Blue team, are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Go. Let's go, guys. Shout it out. 24. Potato. 37. Kale. Go. Come on, DeMarco, to move. No, you idiot. Fucking other here, side, here, you dumb here. bastard. One each side, you fucking donkey. 10, angel hair pasta. Couscous. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my god. DeMarco. Next. Three. Fennel. 36. English peas. Let's go. Eight. Cauliflower. 31. Carrots. 15. Couscous. 33. Poenta. Ah. Help them, guys. Come on, come on, come on. 46. 15. 46. Couscous. Couscous. Yes. Go. Grab them. Pull them up. Come on, guys. Which one was Polenta, guys? 33. 33. Polenta. Polenta. We got off slow, and then we kind of picked it all up. 24 potatoes, you pack. 24 potatoes. I got red rolls. Red potatoes, red yes. Help them, guys. Figgly potatoes, right there. Figgly yes. potatoes. What are we going to do with all these fucking potatoes? I don't think we need this. All right, now let's just pair. Let's just pair. Thanks, God, Anton. 60 seconds to go. I got two available right here, guys. Give me give me the peas. I'll do a potato and pea puree. OK, give me the pasta. Time is ticking. Hurry I, up, I guys. Ready. We're ready. We're ready. We'll put them in with our fingerlings. That's fine. All right. Just deal with it, That's guys. Okay. And, and stop. Me and Rich, we got so many starches, so it's even harder. And I'm just brewing in my brain. I got to figure this out. 
Okay, listen up. You have 30 minutes to cook a stunning dish using all those ingredients. Yes, yes, chef. Let's go. Working in the same pairs that just played the matching game, the chefs will have just 30 minutes. Keep it sexy, keep it sexy, guys. To create a unique, flavorful dish. I'll start peeling the potato for me? Yeah. What do you think about doing a hollandaise? Do you like that idea or not? I, I do. My partner, Scott, came up with hollandaise on a swordfish. And that's something I've never done before, so I hope he knows what he's doing. I like it a lot. You want me to bring over that polenta? Yeah, yeah. Me and Melanie were on chicken. I was like, okay, I'll jump on the polenta. You just keep stirring it? Yep. I'm just so nervous, like I've never made polenta before. I'm like, it tastes right, it feels right, but it could be wrong. And it has to be like consistency of mashed potatoes. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. With Rochelle hoping for some beginner's luck in the blue kitchen. 15 minutes to go, gentlemen. Chris and DeMarco are hard at work on their pork chop entree. Please don't open the oven anymore. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's on. That's all. Honestly, I could have done this challenge by myself, which would have been a lot more fun for me. You want to do like a plum and pork sauce? No. Chris, hey, let me help you out. Let me do something. Come on, man. No, face side down. Face side down. This is ridiculous. What do you need me to do? Uh, not the. 60 seconds to go. This price is going to be the death of me. We had such a little bit of time and brown rice, you, it takes 10 years to cook. 30 seconds to go. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that we can get it done. Drizzle with the hollandaise. Beautiful. Clean it up. Good, right? For yeah, sure. I think we got this. Five, go. Four. Hustle, hustle. Three. Watch it, watch it. Two. Get up there. Get up there. One and stop. Yes. Let's go. Chef Ramsay will now judge the dishes based on taste, presentation, and how well the chefs integrated the ingredients with their proteins. Right, let's start off with the battle of the chicken. First up, it's Melanie and Rochelle versus Anton and Richard. Melanie. The dish is a pan-seared crispy skin chicken with a creamy polenta underneath. The polenta, um, who cooked that? Rochelle cooked it, chef. Absolutely delicious. It was my first time, so I was so nervous. <laughs> really good indeed. OK, I guess I can make polenta now. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Anton, what is it? We have a seared and baked chicken with served with cappellini with a sherry wine vinaigrette sauce, Chef. Mm -hmm. Anton, that's something that's on the menu at a diner. I mean, the dish doesn't look as attractive as melon is. <laughs> but it does have great flavor. Thank you, Chef. The point goes to both of you. Great job. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, chef. Really chef. good job. Well done. With both teams off to an impressive start. Right, next up, Battle of the Pork. Let's go. Chris hopes that giving DeMarco very little to do on their pork dish will enable him to beat Jessica and Keisha. OK, Chris, what is it? They are cranberry and fig polenta stuffed roulade and potato puree. Who cooked it? I did the roulade. I did the sauce and the polenta, actually. Uh, you pulled something pretty complex off. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Jessica, what's the dish? It is a pan-seared pork chop with a corn succotash. Who cooked that? Um, Keisha, Chef. Cooked perfectly. Yes! Thank you, Mama! One thing's for sure, she can cook pork. But the problem I've got are the soggy potatoes. It's a great shame. The point goes to the blue team. Yes! 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 That's it, Chris. Damn. That's all I can say was damn. Good job. Sweet. Next up, Battle of the Tuna. Let's go. With the men now leading by one, Sandra and Beth are hoping that their Asian-inspired tuna. Mm -hmm. The crispy noodles. That's lovely. Will triumph over Jason and Gabriel's interesting combination of ingredients. Uh, this is uh, seared tuna, a little bit of couscous, and uh, kale in with the uh, pasta. The only thing I'm missing is more kale. Yes, chef. The point goes to red tea. Well done, Sandra. <laughs> Good Thank job. You, chef. With the score now tied. 2-2. Two, two. It all comes down to the battle of the swordfish. Ralph and Scott versus Joy and Bev. OK. Scott, what is that? Basmati rice with a uh, pan-seared swordfish and a uh, little bit of a uh, hollandaise. Wow. Swordfish cooked beautifully. So moist. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Joy, what do we have here? OK, Beth lightly seasoned the fish. And the broth is a saffron chili bean broth. Why two rices? That's just what ended up on our tray. <sighs> this is tough. Two stunning swordfish dishes. But there's one dish that has a mistake. Scott, you don't cover swordfish in hollandaise. Congratulations to the red team. Well done. Yeah! This is our third 
third time in a row. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Scott, great shame. You know what I learned today? Don't put fucking hollandaise sauce on a fish. Men, you're going to be busy bees. You'll be spending the entire day preparing over 100 pounds of honey taffy. But there's more. You are going to be harvesting the freshest honey right off the comb. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm not working with bees. Uh, ladies, good job. Thank you, chef. For winning the challenge, I've arranged the most amazing day on Laguna Beach. <laughs> Today, all of you are going to be kayaking in the Pacific Ocean. After, you'll be treated to the most amazing exclusive lunch at the Five Star Studio at the Montage Laguna Beach. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Your cars are waiting. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Let's go, ready. We are four times winning, and it's just getting better and better. With the women geared up for a rewarding day. Win number four. The men suit up for a day of punishment. Oh, man. I do not like this. Are they sure they can't get in here and sting us? Nope. Dude, there's holes in this thing. Mine doesn't even fit me. Is yours too big? <laughs> I'm so fucking sick of losing challenges. <laughs> Lay down. And now we have to go get stung by fucking bees. Wonderful. Suck it all in, dude. Suck it all in. Somebody hold out zip. Dude, you're gonna bust that thing open. <laughs> what do you think I'm a sausage? Straddle him! Come on, straddle him! That bee suit was absolutely ridiculous. I looked like an idiot in it. Thanks, guys. Go get him, dude. Thanks. All right, brother. Don't fart, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Man, you better help us out. We don't know what the hell we're doing. Are you getting a little sticky? I don't know. This is really sketchy. 100 pounds, honeycomb. Right on take it on doing? in, you're gonna pop it out, make yourself some good old honey. We definitely dodged a huge bullet today. I thought it was gonna go into like some bee nest thing. There's definitely a lot of bees in here, but they're dead. Talk about a mind fuck. Thank God it didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. Watch out, they're dead, but they can still sting you. Yeah? Yes, sir. All right. While the men haul away the honey, the women arrive for a relaxing day at Laguna Beach. First things first, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, life jackets. Okay, I can't swim, so I'm kind of nervous. Anything does happen, and heaven forbid you end up in the water, relax. We're supposed to be a team, of course. These bitches are psycho. I don't know if they're going to let me drive. Everybody ready. Let's do it. I know my limits, I know my limitations. I was sad that I didn't get to overcome a fear, but that's okay. I'm sorry, Joy, I can't make it. Have fun for me, honey. Work hard. I was able to relax and enjoy just being away from the ladies. It was great. Laguna Beach is the best reward yet. It's like a fairy tale. Oh my god. Sea lions. There are no sea lions in New Jersey. Oh, there's a rocket. Dude, this is awesome. We gotta make a thousand candies, so every drop of honey. In the pantyhose, all right. We have to sit here and squeeze honey from fresh honeycomb. It's a pain in the ass. Fuck taffy. Guess this is as organic as you can get. It's just annoying, boring, stupid, tedious work. Hey, oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to studio at Montage Laguna Beach. The studio at the Montage was beautiful. And we got to sit right there overlooking the beach. It was breathtaking. Oh my God. God. Ladies, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to studio. So, what we have for you is some ahi tuna pokey. Thank, Thank you. you. Bon appetit. Oh God. Mm. That is so good. He's <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> This is wow. definitely better than sex with my ex. Oh! 
That's why it's Max. <laughs> As the red team savors their Michelin star meal, it's lunchtime for the men and Chef James. Sardines. Oh, that's fucking gross. Oh, my fish oil this morning. Whips up a healthy, vitamin-rich seaside lunch of his own. Who's gonna be the brave warrior? Oh. Come on, guys, down the hatch. You know, it's brain food. <laughs> I'm gonna be with you. Oh my god, I can't even think about it right now. It, it's making me throw up in my mouth. Hold your nose, you don't even smell it. One more sip, bro. Chug. One more chug. sip. Chug, 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 chug. One chug. more big goal. Yeah! Catch it, Ralph. Yeah! Oh. Ralph, maybe the reason that's his name. <laughs> Didn't spill on your shirt? Looking good. After an amazing day on Laguna Beach, the women return to Hell's Kitchen overjoyed and united. Meanwhile, the blue team is doing a little bonding of their own. We all want a life for ourselves. That's the main reason we're fucking here. You know something? We should go around and find out why is everybody really here. I'm 48 years old. I've been doing it for 30 years. I want to prove that I can still hang with the young guys and cook. That, that's why I'm here. Dead straight. I want to work for Chef Gordon Ramsay. It's been a dream since I started cooking, man. It still blows my mind I'm even sitting here with you guys right now. It really does. I want to prove every fucking person that said I couldn't do this that I can. I mean, I... What's up? My father left me when I was like six months old. I never met him. He, has, he doesn't want anything to fucking do with me. And you know how much that fucking sucks? sucks? So all I want to do is have him call me so I can tell him to go fuck himself. And look what I fucking did. Yeah, man. I'm serious. That's what I like to hear, dude. The heart, the passion. You know now. what, dude? About time you opened up. Yeah, but that's what you're supposed to cook with. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, yeah. Cook with that pain, to. man. Cook Trust with that, me. man. If you've ever been down in your life, and I know a lot of people have, you know, you you always look to something to cheer for, and I hope people see that in me because I want this so bad. Then you got more motivation than anybody, my friend. After a night of heart-to-heart -heart discussions, oh. both teams are moving kind of slowly this morning. Hello? Good morning. Holy shit, it's Chef Ramsay. But Chef Ramsay has other plans. I need to see all of you downstairs immediately. You got it. Let's go. Downstairs right away. Everybody downstairs right now. Come on. Oh, no. There's something very special going on in the dining room. Do not make a sound. Let's go. Oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> it's all quiet, it could be anything. Let's go. Oh my god. This is not wedding attire. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you here today to share with us as Parker and Joanna pledge the vows that will unite them in marriage. Parker, do you here declare your commitment to Joanna and choose her to spend the rest of your life? I do. Joanna, do you choose him as the one with whom you wish to spend the rest of your life? I do. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I looked at Rochelle, because you know she just got engaged, and I'm like, let me see if she gets teary-eyed. And she had this glow on her face, like, oh, I can't wait for my special day. Chicks love weddings. Come on, now you know the red team loved it. It is my great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You know, he's all smiles today. Give him a couple weeks. Wait, the honeymoon's over. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. I guess there's a lot of people happily married. I just happen to be one of the people that's happily divorced. This is the first time ever we have been given the opportunity to host an exclusive wedding ceremony here. I've prepared a very simple but delicious, unique brunch menu. The bride side of the dining room will be done by the red kitchen, and the groom side will be done by the blue kitchen. The team serves the entire side of the restaurant first, wins the challenge. The team that loses this challenge will lose one of their teammates. Not only is there 
a surprise wedding. This is also an elimination challenge. It's like, you know, get get on your get on your game, get on the ball right now. On your stations, let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah. For this morning's special service, the teams will prepare an elegant wedding brunch. The men will cook for guests of the groom, the women for guests of the bride. Thank you for coming. The menu consists of a fresh fruit salad appetizer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our kitchen. This way. Okay. Followed by a choice of three entrees that include lobster scrambled eggs, a croque masseur, and Belgium buttermilk waffles. This is beautiful. There you go. Uh, you good now? Yeah. You guys, we're gonna need help with some of this fruit. With Rochelle taking the lead on the fruit salad for the women. If anybody's got hands, we can start walking with fruit salad. I got it. And Scott taking the lead for the men. Make them look perfect, these two. That's the noise we want to hear, that Coming noise down there. The Coming down the line. Service, please. Fruit salads are easily making their way out to both dining rooms. It's your fruit. It's delicious. Yeah. Two fruit salads walking, Chef. This is the easiest wedding menu I've ever seen. And it's very important to me. Like, I don't want to screw anybody's wedding up. With almost all of the fruit salads served. Let's go, big boy. I've never seen you here this early in the morning. Chef Ramsay is ready with the entree order for the bride and groom's table. Wedding party, top table, blue team. One scrambled egg, one croque monsieur, two waffles. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Which will be split between the two kitchens. Ladies, wedding party, top table, two scrambled egg, one croque monsieur, one waffles. We're going up at the same time, guys. Yes. yes. Yes, Let's go. Breakfast is the easiest thing to cook, but we have to work with the blue team. We have to make sure we coordinate and get the food out on time. Walk in. Where's the copper show? Waffle? Come on, guys. Yes, Chef. Come on, she need that pro, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I know. The egg is off. Fuck. Damn it, it busts. Fuck. Beth, you don't torch eggs, and then you don't let pieces of bread get burnt on the bottom. Come on. Where is it? One minute down, Chef. Oh, fuck off. It's the bride and groom's table. I'm, I'm, oh my gosh. And everyone's waiting on best because of an egg. Not good. I'm not stopping the blue team's order. Let's go. Keisha, baby, I need you to take the lead, take control of that station, hold it down. Get those eggs going, babe. While Keisha watches over Beth's every move. I'm babysitting them. Over in the blue kitchen. Four minutes. Come on, guys. Chef Ramsay has a question for Ralph. Is that hot? Yeah, it's getting greasy. Yeah, yeah, it's getting, that's not what I'm asking. I got, it's all greasy. The pan has to be hot, why? So it crisps up quick. So if you put it into a cold pan full of oil, what's happening? It's, it's just soaking up, sorry. It's grease. Ralph, dude, that was a rookie move, bro. Rookie move. Look at me. Yes, it's chef. It's a bride and groom. Yes, chef. I want them to enjoy their big day, not spend it worrying about their cholesterol. Come on. Yes, chef. No excuses. It's greasy! Yes, chef. With both kitchens struggling with the wedding table's entrees, the guests of honor have no choice but to wait. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen. I need those eggs. Bill. Yes, ma'am. Keisha's doing all she can to organize not just herself, but Beth as well. I need those eggs, baby. They coming, baby. Crop me, sir. Bill, come on. Honey, I can give her a raw egg. Yes, yes you gotta cook. Back. Stop talking. Cook. That's all I you have to Shut up and egg. cook. You shut up and can't cook any faster. Everybody here wants to tell everybody else how to do their fucking job if they worried about their own self instead of what I'm doing or she's doing because you know what, I know how to cook a fucking egg. Shut your goddamn mouth and do your fucking job. If you don't belong in this kitchen, get out. Yo, Bev, shut up and cook. It's breakfast service. You can't handle breakfast? Come on now. Come on now, Bill. It's not gonna be cooked enough, but go ahead and send it out. Get another one started, get I'm another going, one started. I'm going, I'm going. There you go, that's raw. Hey, 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 all of you, all of you, come here. A big day. Bride and groom, and look, runny, rough. Look at that, look. It's like fucking snot on your wedding day. That is embarrassing. Keisha, Beth, look at me. Stop sending me shit. Yes, Chef. Or fuck off home. Yes, Chef. These things you should know. Like, you've been cooking eggs before I was thought about, baby. Start the whole fucking table again. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. I know how to do this. I just, God. <sighs> While Beth starts the bride's eggs for the third time, back in the blue kitchen... Let's go, let's go. Ralph is determined not to let anything get in the way of getting his food out to the groom's side of the head table. Walk in with a scrambled egg. You guys okay? Yeah, we're going on the croaks right now. Ralph, this one needs a little more time. It's 
raw on top. That's how it's supposed to be. Come on, I got it, I got it. Eggs coming right up behind. Some coconut shrimps in the pan, chef. The eggs roll. Come on, Demarco. You guys are all on, my DeMarco. way. It's not a three-man fucking station. Hey, hey, all of you, come in. Raw egg whites and the yolks barely fucking. Fuck off, guy. Look, Demarco, yes, you chef. put that on there. It's raw. Fuck, dude. Like, listen to me. I told them that the eggs were raw, and they said put it up anyway. Blue team. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. It was first to finish. It's like you've given up. No, no chef. Come chef. on. Come on. While the men scurry to get on track with entrees, the bride and groom have waited for more than an hour for their main course. I think your ladies are in trouble. And if the chefs don't get it together soon, this brunch may end up being a memory our bride and groom will want to forget. Ladies, speed up! Yes, chef! How long do you need for those eggs? 30 seconds. Look, I can cook eggs, but when I have everybody yelling at me, hey guys, do the egg, I, do it. It. I don't get it. I don't get it. I know how to cook a fucking egg. Are you kidding me? <sighs> you going, yes? Let's go. Is that egg cooked? Nice and hot in the middle. Good bride and groom, yes? Good. The bride has been served her entree, but the groom is still waiting. Mm. That looks amazing. And now the men race to get his food to the pass. How are you looking, Jason? We're looking good over here. Come on! Blue team, it's the bride and groom. Come on, cook, baby, cook. Right behind you, chef. Service, please. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Come on, come on, guys. With the bridal party finally receiving their main course. Isn't this amazing? This is amazing, yeah. Chef Ramsay pushes forward on the remaining tables. Main course, four waffles, one crop monsieur. I need those two eggs, Beth. Go ahead, put a lay me lay on my top for them. Come on, get that in the oven. Yep, 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 yep. Walking with eggs, walking with eggs. There you go, chef. Service, please. After a number of bumps with the head table, both kitchens have recovered and are back in the groove. Neck and neck. And the race to be the first to complete is still too close to call. Last table, guys. Yes, yes chef. chef! The blue team has just received their final ticket. How are you doing on the eggs? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good on eggs. Okay. And all that stands between them and victory are Richard and Gabriel on scrambled eggs. Dude, you gotta make more. That's two orders. Fuck. How long? Five minutes. Oh, my God. Gabriel, why don't you have two pans working? Yeah, I only got one. I'm working with two only. Take one of our wobble pans. Gabriel was taking his sweet ass time. I made like one scrambled egg at a time in a pan. We can make up to four. God, got it coming. Got it coming. Got it coming. Richard, yes, chef. Can you make the scrambled egg as well? Yes, chef. Look at me. You're twice as quick then. Yes, yes chef. chef. But right now you're twice as slow. Yes, chef. While the men hurry to coordinate their final order. Let's go, guys. We gotta bang this out. Back in the red kitchen. Let's go. Two waffles, one crop of sure, one scrambled egg. Last table, ladies. Uh, yes, chef. Victory for the women rests with Beth and her fried egg. Make sure you're done. I man. know, I know. Hey, you. Oh, gee, hey, what are you doing? How can an egg get like that? Tell me so I can help you. She's not even answering me now. Beth, get your shit together. I need you to be here. Get your shit together, bitch. It's very hot, Chef. Jesus Christ, is she OK? Both kitchens are on the last table. How about the last ticket, guys? And unbelievably, the winner of this brunch service will be the team that fixes their egg crisis the fastest. Come on, gents. Keep it together, baby. Right now, walk in now, Chef. Walk in now. Hey, walk in, walk in. Hurry up. This is the last ticket. Right behind you, right behind you, the hot sausage. You got the coconut shrimp coming out? I'm doing it right now. Pulling it right now. Right behind, right behind. Two scrambled eggs. Two scrambled eggs in the pan. I think we're good on that. We're good on that. Incredible. They don't get it. You've gone down by half a portion now. More scrambled eggs on there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, good, good. Thank you. Go table 30. Ladies. Yes, Chef. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Thank you Chef. We did it, Red Sam. I'm so proud of you, girl. Gentlemen. Yes, Chef. The women are one. Gabriel and Richard, they're useless idiots. Right, that's the portion now. Yes, they're worthless and weak, and it pisses me off. Service, please. This is really delicious. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say that we are incredibly honored that Joey and Parker chose Hell's Kitchen to celebrate this amazing day. I'd like to say thank you so much for coming, all of you. I'm glad you enjoyed your brunch.
Uh, ladies, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Sure. Right. I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything so disorganised and in complete disarray, ever. I need two nominees for elimination. Got it? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. The piss off. Man, our team sucks right now. You know, the crook station, scrambled eggs, cooking 101. We just gotta make sure the good people are sticking around and the bad people are going home. What happened on egg station, guys? I caught raw eggs and I told you guys and you said put them up anyway. I was playing up with them when the eggs came up and he did say it twice. Who told him to put them up? Oh. Fucking man up. I said it. You told him to send it up? Right now, it needs to be one from the omelet station, one from my station. Oh. I think it should be Gabriel and DeMarco. Why? Why? Dude, that was held up. So we should go up? Yes. You're not manning up, bro? No, I'm not saying that we didn't have a mistake or okay, two, you know so what I'm man up. But look at overall. DeMarco hasn't done anything overall. You had a couple fuck-ups, Gabriel. I don't think we should go at all. I think Gabriel and Richard should go up. You guys held us up. That's the bottom line. When I was eight years old, I scrambled eggs every fucking Saturday morning watching cartoons with my sister. And you know what? They were perfect at eight years old. I had one fucking bad night. Oh, man. One. How many has everybody you had, had a here? couple. One. Everybody has a bad night. We don't want excuses. We're judging overall. It's overall, you know, overall, you're no good. Over fucking all, overall, like, fuck you. The eggs are raw. I said it three fucking times. It doesn't matter about the raw right now. I am accountable for my actions every fucking time. All of you guys are. When I fuck up, I say it every fucking time. After an embarrassing performance in the surprise wedding brunch, the men are faced with nominating two chefs for elimination. Chris, first nominee and why? Uh, that would be DeMarco. I don't think there was 100% effort on the station tonight. Second nominee and why? Uh, that would be um, Gabriel. There was a lack of consistency with the scrambled eggs, and uh, the timing wasn't really quite there. OK, DeMarco, Gabrielle, step forward. Do you know what? There's someone else I need to hear from. Richard, join them in the fucking middle. DeMarco, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm accountable for my actions. Although I didn't cook the egg today, um, I, I did put it up. So you're prepared to take somebody else's shit to the window? DeMarco, you're in enough shit with me as it is. Richard, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I have the experience, Chef, to be here. I have the knowledge to be here, and I'm learning every day. I, I knew my mistakes. I knew I fucked up my station today. No, you lost them the challenge. You and Gabrielle lost the challenge. Fucking hands down. Gabrielle, I know I deserve to stay here. I'm a fighter. I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to quit until you decide that I shouldn't be here. Why can't you step up? You're right. You know, we, we just realized too late. Tough decision. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. This. DeMarco. I told you I had one more chance. I am not going to see you there. Yes, chef. One more time. Game over. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. The blue team had it in for me from the beginning. No matter what I did, it wasn't good enough. My team took away the chance for me to be head chef, and it kills me. But this isn't the end. I know I can cook. And I have a lot to prove to a lot of people. Both of you back in line. As we're getting rid of some of the weaker chefs, I'm about to turn up the heat. Head up to the dorms. If my eyes wasn't open, they open now. Because I seen that door open, and I do not want to be on the other side of that door. I'm not going home, and that's final. When you win and you fuck up, you don't always feel like you win, but that's OK, because I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to do what I came to do. 
when I fuck up, I'll be the first one to say I fucked up. But other people need to start doing the same thing. When I explode, it's gonna explode. That's all I could say. DeMarco, demented, demoted, denied. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Get that right in the middle, Gabriel. When one chef attempts a hostile takeover in the blue kitchen. They got no choice. I'll throw them out of the kitchen myself. Will he push his teammates too far? Right in the middle of the pan. And will they push back? Go with these fucking five, please. What do you want to leave? You can't cook. And when Chef Ramsay invites VIPs to dine at the chef's tables. I'm ready for him to take a whip and lash them. Perfected. It's nothing but pain on the menu. I don't fucking get it anymore. Will it be too much for Sandra to take? I know you don't care, but I do. Stop screaming in my face. And will she take it out on her team? Fuck all of you. How's that? Get ready for a ton of infighting. I don't give a fuck who she is. She needs to shut her goddamn mouth. All next time on a merciless Hell's Kitchen. She's a bitch.